guys welcome back to another tech guru video today I'm coming at you with another iOS iPhone iPad game the name of the game is nimble quest this is a game from the developers that uh, did tiny tower as well as pocket planes these guys are known to do quality stuff on the iOS so the name of this game again is Nimble Quest. It is an absolute blast to play. It is a game that you'll catch yourself playing over and over again to try to achieve, uh, you know, gathering new characters, beating different levels, and accumulating more resources. So the game is basically similar to the old school Snake game in a fact that you put together a team of different character champions, heroes that have different abilities. You can see here by clicking on the info button uh, the different abilities of each character. You pick a specific character at the beginning to start your snake with. Here are the various upgrades. I have played this game quite a bit since its release, so I have fully upgraded most of the stuff there. There are in-app purchases, but they are completely optional. You can play this game and accumulate all of this stuff by playing the game, but if you do want to expedite the process, you can buy it in the game. So here you see the list of characters. The ones that I have unlocked are colored, and the ones that I have not are grayed out. At the beginning of each game, you'll have an option to choose different power-ups to begin a specific game with. So this one, I'm going to add the swiftness buff, which will add a 25% movement speed to all of my characters. So as you see here, you start with one character, and as you kill enemies, you will then be able to pick up other characters to make your snake in this game longer. So there you see I picked up two new characters. Each character has its own unique set of abilities, weaknesses, strengths, that kind of deal. So as you progress through the level, you're going to try to kill the enemies before they kill you, obviously. And you cannot run into the boundaries like the exterior of the level, or you cannot run into enemies. If you do, you will die, and you either have to spend a coin to continue on the same level, or go back to the first level and try to do it that way. At the end of each level you'll see a bunch of gems which is the currency in the game and uh, as you go there you'll want to collect as many of those as possible. The gems do serve another purpose as well uh, as you're going through the level and you're killing enemies the more gems you pick up you do get a little health regeneration as well. There's green gems and blue gems. Blue being worth more than green and you can actually pay for red gems uh, through an in-app purchase, but that's completely optional. So as you see here, we're on a different level. All of the levels or worlds or whatever you want to call it are different and unique, and they have different uh, obstacles that you have to maneuver around. So as you see here in the upper left-hand corner, it says 4 out of 10. That's how many characters I have in my snake compared to how many I have unlocked. So here I have 5 characters out of 10. This is a different level on throughout the game. And as you see, as the levels progress, the enemies do do get quicker, they get harder to kill, and they gain armor, which in turn makes it more difficult to kill them. As you see also, you'll pick up different power-ups throughout the level. When you kill different enemies, you may get a uh, magnet, which will uh, you know suck up all the gems. And then when you do die, you have an option to again spend a coin to retry that same level or go back to the beginning. That that you saw there was a potion, another one of the power-ups within the game. So there are multiple power-ups that you can get, such as like frost which will freeze your enemies you can also get a chest which will bring out a whole bunch of gems and you can also get two swords which means uh, it increases your attack damage for a short while again the name of the game is nimble quest there is a multiplayer option called arena once you have um, boosted up your characters leveled them up and you can level your characters up the only character that is going to level up is going to be the beginning character, the one you start with. So you'll need to start with all of your characters to level them up to a point to where you can go ahead and go into multiplayer. So guys, the game is again Nimble Quest by the guys uh, over at NimbleBit, the ones that did a lot of the other good, awesome games on the iOS, such as Pocket Planes, Tiny Tower, all those addictive games. This is an absolute gem in the App Store. Go pick it up. It's completely free. Uh, so uh, go check that out now. Please, as always, like my videos, subscribe to my channel, for more great content such as this and guys I will see you next time